Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marcus with Epic Life Gaming and today we have another base review. This is the first part of a two-part base review. So I said in the submit your base video that I was going to review six bases in two videos. So here we go you guys. Hopefully you enjoy. Go ahead and hit that like bit like button for more base reviews if you like this. Um so here we go. We got Jack in our first review. And he has a Town Hall 7 defensive style base. So this is good. We got a good base to review here. All right. So let's look around. So he's a defensive style base. He has his mortars all in a triangle fashion. That's perfect. Um, one's level 5. One's going to level 5. And one's at level 4. So that's good. He's got two air defenses both in the middle. Awesome job. They're both level 4. So they just need to be upgraded one more time in order to be maxed. Then you got your two wizard towers over on each side, both level four. So those are max for Town Hall 7. And they're kind of guarding, well, they are guarding each storage. All storages are guarded by wizard towers. Excellent job. And now let's look. You got your archer towers and your cannon swip swapped back and forth. Great job on that. Um, really like that. Different compartments for everything. You got your dark elixir guarded in the middle, even though you're a defensive style base. You have all your buildings tucked up next to each other. You have your Barbarian King on the outside, which I don't like because he has that, you know, area that he can't leave. So it's really beneficial to put him in the middle. But without your Dark Elixir moving or maybe your Clan Castle or Storage, nowhere else really to put your Barbarian King with this design, at least. All right, and you have all your defenseless buildings tucked up next to the center of your base. Awesome job. Your Builder's Huts in the corners. That's cool. The only downside is that your clan castle has to be pushed to the outside, but that's going to happen in a defensive style base. You have nothing cooking in your laboratory. Um, it does look like you have your upgrades, so um, overall, pretty good base. I really like it a lot, actually. You got all your, uh, you know, your defenses going up. Almost all are level eight. Almost all are maxed out. You already got your barbarian king. He just needs to go to level five. So great overall base, great job, I really like it. And uh, somebody wanted me to start rating bases again, so what I would rate this Town Hall 7 defensive style base is a 9 out of 10. This base is really good you guys, I really like this base. It's about as good as you're going to get in a Town Hall 7 base. Great job Jack, thank you for letting me review your base all right, so now we have Jimmet. All right, in the clan warrior dudes, he has a Town Hall 7 farming base. So we're getting a different side. All right, so let's go ahead and look. Um, he has his Town Hall already taken out, which is exactly what he wants people to do. Take his Town Hall, take his trophies, but not his loot. The last guy wanted you to take his loot and not his trophies, although he was still defending his loot like he should. All right, so let's look around. He has his clan castle in the middle, which is very beneficial for him. So instead of having your town hall in the middle, he has his clan castle in the middle, which helps out defend his base a little bit better. Town hall doesn't do much besides take damage. All right, he has his mortars in a triangle, if you're looking at it like this way. Um, so good job on that. They're all level four, so get those upgraded. Um, he has a level 3 and a level 3 wizard tower. Get those upgraded. Um, they are all guarding your storages, so excellent job. You have your two air defenses, semi in the middle. Um, just need to upgrade those one more level. And you also already got your Barbarian King. Awesome job on that. And you're defending your Dark Elixir to the max. And you have about 2,315 Dark Elixir in there. Not bad at all. So I like this. It's like a little maze. So you can like enter here and go all the way around and enter the base from here. And you have that on each side. So a very unique style of a base. I really like that. Excellent job. You have uh, your cannons and your archer tower spread about nicely. They're actually all next to each other defending your base. Um, so that's cool. You're not having a lot of different compartments. Actually, you have zero because none of them are blocked in. It's a very unique style of a base. 
Um, I don't know if it works, but I'd love to see some replays on this, Gemmit. This is really cool and unique style. You have all your defenseless buildings tucked up next to your base. Awesome job. You're keeping your builders busy. Got a dark barracks building up. Now that you got some dark elixir in your barbarian king already. Excellent time to get that going. You have some cooking up in your laboratory. Good job. Really like this. You don't have your builder sets in the corners like the last guy did. So I wonder if, you know, how do you guys feel about builder sets? Do you put them in the corner or do you not? Do you think not enough people make that mistake? Or do you think it helps you out every now and then by, you know, somebody do making that mistake? Overall, it's a good base. Um, I really don't know how to rate this base. You, um, not many things are maxed out on this base. That's the only thing I don't like. But uh, maybe you are kind of newer to uh, Town Hall 8, but you are getting your Archer Towers and Cannons upgraded. Instead, you need to be working on your Mortars and your Wizard Towers and your Air Defenses. So keep those going up, buddy. Excellent job, Jemmet. What I would rate this base is an 8 out of 10. This is still a good base, um, very unique style of a base. I mean, you can enter from every which way, and I bet he has traps everywhere. So, really unique style base. I really like it. Great job, Jemmet. Thank you for letting me review your base. All right, our last base is Rohit Patel in the clan Forever Patient. <clears throat> All right, so we're sticking with the theme with the Town Hall 7 bases. All right, so let's look at this base. Obviously, he is a farming base, Town Hall 7. Has his clan castle in the middle, just like the last guy did. This is a more of a familiar base that I'm used to, you know, looking at or designing or, you know, reviewing. He has his two gold storages and his dark elixir in the middle. Um, I understand that you want to protect it as much as possible, but if somebody gets in the middle of your base, he's taking everything instead of doing it like the dark or your elixir on each side that's better because he has to use so many troops on one side and then so many troops on one side to be able to get your base uh or to get your storages your gold storages so maybe do the other thing on you know with this one on this side and this side do the same thing instead of having it all in the middle that's something i would suggest because if they get in the middle especially goblins they're going to take it all from you <clears throat> but good job having your clan castle in the middle. You have your one wizard tower right there, which is guarding like, like basically two, like this full one, a little tiny eighth of that one, a quarter of that one, and a half of that one, which comes out to two, right? Um, so yeah, in a quarter of that or an eighth of that one. So I don't like that, and that one's guarding two. I just don't really like your wizard towers, the way they're set up, um, guarding your storages. I think they can be better, um, especially if you, like, say, move this, these two around. That would guard these two storages better, and say, move this one over here. So move those, swip swap them, and then you'd be able to guard your storages better. It's something I would suggest for you. Although you do have your mortars all in a triangle fashion, they're all maxed out, level 5s. Same with your wizard towers being level 4. Two air defenses are spread apart, but not in the middle. But that's okay, they're hard to get to. This one's going to level 5, which is max, and that one's still at level 4. So good job on focusing on your air defenses. And you have your archer towers and cannons protecting the corners of your base or the sides of your base and i'm going to guess that you have your tesla tower right there and right there so excellent placements on your defenses i really like your defenseless defenses placements you got your barbarian king and not only do you have them but you already have them upgraded to level three good job with that let's see how much dark elixir you have oh man almost six thousand good job on that you have all your defenses buildings tucked up next to each other you got everything cooking up in your barracks you're getting ready to raid some more and you even have something cooking up in your laboratory and it looks like one builder is not busy but you got that going where's and that dark barracks going to level two so great job on that i like this a lot this base is really designed really well although you could probably find something to do with these walls instead of having them you know useless maybe you know stretch these out and you know, put them in different sections even. I think that would be a good option for you. Overall, this is a great base for Hot Patel. We got three great bases, you guys. Excellent job. I really enjoy when my subscribers have awesome bases. So what I would rate this base is an 8.5. This really is a good base. I really enjoy it. Um, 
Not much else I would change besides those two, these two things. Other than that, this is a great overall base. So thank you, Rohat Patel, for letting me review your base. Really appreciate that. And thank you to everybody else that let me review their base. If you did not get your base review today, don't worry. I'll be picking three more people tomorrow to be in the base review. Like I said, I'm doing six base reviews in two days this week. So thank you. And if you even don't get picked tomorrow for your base to be reviewed, I still have next week. I do this weekly, so do not worry about it. Um, if you want your base reviewed, stay tuned till Friday to submit your base again. And I will be putting out another base review tomorrow for everybody that already submitted their bases. So thank you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It shows your support for my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscri subscribe button. You're going to get daily videos, fun content, and you get to hang out with me. Thank you guys for everything you're doing for this channel. We just hit over 300,000 views total on my channel. I really appreciate that, you guys. Thank you for, for all your support. Hope you guys have a great day, and don't forget to stay beautiful.